is one lesson that I took away from this. Just want to see if you agree. Is that the over one overriding powerful factor in any presidential election is that may trump everything else. Pardon the word. Right? Is change. Mm -hmm. I mean, people did after eight years. Americans are kind of ready for change, even if the change agent is imperfect. That's right. Right? Yeah. They'll take it. But well, the last and one the thing last Hillary did not represent was was change. Was change. Right. I, look, I wanted Hillary to win, um, and I don't. Know, and honestly, I'm going to say something else is going to piss off a lot of Democrats because I'm in that mood. Just these remember days. who's pissing you off today. It's <laughs> this him. Me. Him, him. It's not right, Bill right, or right, Peter right. or Politico. <laughs> that's, right. that's right, Jamie. It's me. Here's the thing, Bernie or Bust. I hate to break the news to people, but Bernie Sanders is even more establishment than Hillary Clinton. And to think that he's not is to deny oh, reality. That. How? The guy's been here since 1991 as a sitting member of Congress. Mm -hmm. The guy goes on as every outsider, single— As a socialist, not I, even I as get a it. I totally understand that. But then, yeah. he, then he should have run as a socialist I'll give you as an this. outsider. He was part of the establishment. And, well, and, Donald Trump and, never has been. You're right. No, he's more outside. By the way, I didn't vote for Donald Trump. He's <laughs> more. No, he's more of an outsider than Bernie. Yeah. But but Bernie was not part of the inner circle, and he was not you know first lady, secretary of state. No, but he was chairman New of the York. VA, the the Veterans Committee. He was as you know, an I, independent. I, I, as an independent, yes. But no, I mean, yeah. But he still ran as, as a, a Democrat. Member of the Senate. I'm not. Yeah, he's part of the establishment. But the reason I think Bernie was so successful is he was seen as not part of the club. He's yeah, never been part but, of the club. But, but he took money from – look, I love big labor. You know I love big labor. He took just as much money from big labor as every other Democrat. No, yeah, no, that's, that, those, are, those, were his, those were his, he, those were his he, donors. He raised, I got it. He raised $236 no, I'm talking million about during his, from no, small No, I'm talking donors. about during his time in Congress. I'm not talking about for his presidential. The guy has been a part of the system since 1991. Jimmy, you're on thin ice. You look at how much money Bernie Sanders raised compared to how much Hillary Clinton raised. I'm not talking about the Bernie presidency. Sanders even got $2,000 for a speech that he gave, and Hillary Clinton's getting $250,000 I agree from with freaking you. Goldman Sachs. I agree with you 1,000 percent that there is. I, just that, don't put them in. There's the clearly no pay equity when it comes to giving you speeches. You said you're going to gonna piss off Democrats. You pissed <laughs> this one off. Good. Good. It's, no, fine. it's time for no, Democrats to be pissed off. Don't dump on Bernie. No, I'm not dumping on Bernie. I'm just saying that this idea that he is completely anti-establishment is wrong. He's been in Washington since 1991. I'm sorry, but he is a part of the establishment. Uh, I, I'm, I'm not denying that, but okay. he is not part. Of, he's but not, to your original question, people voted for Donald Trump. Yes, he did represent so change. Yes, he did represent change. He did represent change. That's exactly right. And I don't, and so I did Trump. Do, so would would Bernie have uh, been able to beat Donald Trump? I don't know the answer. I I, I, I don't know the answer to that. Because I've never, I, 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 like I don't bet, I don't do, yeah, do should have, would have, yeah. could have. But what I can tell you is if 18 million people had gotten off their asses and voted, right, then we would not be having this problem right there, now. But that's an interesting question. We know, we were told, right, and I, I, um, some of it is certainly true, that the Democratic Party had a phenomenal ground operation. They had millions of people out there on Election Day and before calling the whole thing. Yep. Carol went over to... Virginia spent the whole day over there yep. knocking on doors. And Trump had, like, basically none. A skeletal staff. And his people came out, and our people did not. Why? Uh, well, the RNC helped, and the RNC they walked did. lockstep with him, and let's yep. just call it what it is. Yep. Um, and I know I have friends over at the RNC, and they're like, don't underestimate our ground game. Yeah. And I'm like, I, I would never underestimate your ground game. You've been studying ours for decades. <laughs> Why <laughs> they, would I? <laughs> they stole it. Right? Well, and yeah. good for them. Good, absolutely. You right. know? But uh, it did. We did fail. We did fail. Um, you know, here's the great irony. Well, part of it. of it was, don't you think that that Trump, give him credit for this, he did inspire and his supporters yeah. to come out and vote. The silent majority, as they call it, or as he calls it, and as they call themselves. I don't akin, akin, uh, make it akin to what Ronald Reagan and his silent majority. I think that's a very different kind of thing. I totally um, agree. And yeah. um, but but they did show up. What happened was we didn't. Mm -hmm. And when you don't – listen, women determine elections, determine every election. Every, the, the, women hold all the power. They hold the power to populate this wonderful planet. And they hold the power to screw politicians when they don't like them. And they did. And they did it even though a woman was running. The, fa the factor of the woman did not go for, Hill for another woman this time. Um, but listen, hey – <laughs> no Christ, no no point in crying over spilt milk. 